and welcome back to Bros in a Landfill. We have finally hacked into um, the um, ancient um, city of Babel. Um, welcome back to um, Sonic um, Riders. Oh yeah, that is what that game. Because that was about. a plot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're. Yeah. I mean, going back to a previous conversation, where's the Mario game where you ride hoverboards? You know, why has that not happened yet? I. I mean, theory, I mean, we you ride hover cars and motorcycles in A, so I'm. Uh, true. I think that counts for That's something. That's true. But you know, Mario never goes to Babylonia. It. Oh. Yeah, gotcha. there you go. Ooh, I, I like I've, got, I've got this. Yeah. God, this is. This is an aesthetic. Yeah, I. The music's interesting too. I don't know, all Sonic music's dope. You know, I, I gotta say, I quite, I quite like all of the, um, all the ways that they have you go fast in this. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of variation. Wait, we're we going backwards. Yeah. Hi. Sometimes it's hard to tell if you're going forwards or backwards in this, in these games. Yeah, very sprawling. Oh yeah, so if you break oh, those cool. things, then these little pawns come out. These little chompers. Oh, those little chompers? That's them. Ready to see more? <laughs> you know, I have never actually watched um, Little House of... Is it Little House of Nightmares? Or uh, little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, the Shuffle Fours, that's right. Um, I watched um, a stage version of it uh, at the local high school when I was a kid. Uh, so, I don't really remember what happens, but there was a big, there was a big pawn. That sounds pretty spoopy. I, uh, I really liked it because my cousin was in it. I was like, yes, my cousin's dope. He's the coolest dude. Did this feel like still hold up to today? Uh, because when you're a kid, when you when you're a kid, cousins are pretty dope, and then you get older, and you're just like, oh yeah, they're just people. Yeah, he's oh, it's um, a great family. Right, because he, I mean, he was like the older kid when I was little. I was like, yeah, this guy's sick. Um, he, hmm, how do I how do I put this? I I think I think he's kind of an idiot, but I like him. Sometimes you just gotta have idiots around you to make your like, because there, there are some things that knowledge like knowledge that uh, that just isn't fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ignorance. And sometimes you need a little dumb in your life. I don't know. It, it like, hmm. How do I put idiot? It's it's like um, like he's got a lot of um, kind of boast and bluster about him, in a way that's like feels. I guess it's like a, a big ego or something, but I don't know. Sometimes I can look at things like that. And I'm like, that's fun. Thing is, like he he is like a he is quite nice to me. He's, you know, I like him. I haven't seen him in a long time because uh, he's I mean, in another nation. He has a child now. Oh, so that's crazy. Oh gosh. Yeah, some some. Sometimes the not as smart people are some of the nicest people you meet, you know? <laughs> I really like, hope he doesn't listen to this. It'll be so, like... It's, it's like, it's such a double-handed compliment. Yeah, like it doesn't sound like a compliment. Double. Like, well, I mean, like, if you said it to the person, it wouldn't be like a compliment. But you're meaning it like a compliment, surely. Yeah. Well, I think... I mean, either, like, like, for me, I'll be completely honest, like... Like... I I do have a level of envy of people that just are more ignorant of things than I am, because like well, like well, well on the one hand it's like yes I I have the knowledge and capability to make a better life for myself. There's a, there's a there's a level where it's almost a bit like too much. Well, knowledge like, doesn't always too make. Aware of yeah, knowledge doesn't always make you happy. Sometimes it just like, makes I, you aware I, I, of I, things that you can be unhappy about. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm fully in the camp. As long as you're happy and you're not hurting other people, like I think that's all that really matters. Yeah, sure, absolutely. 
This is very precarious, and I managed yeah, to Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you're smart enough, then you can unlock um, advanced high-level depression. Dude, your, your <laughs> depression's so much fucking stupider than mine. Yeah. Mine is way Hell deeper yeah. and way more <laughs> considered. Why does this start a speedway? Oh yeah, this level's got um, Act Two has a pretty ridiculous boss. Oh, okay. oh well, you know what? Uh, I I think um I think for this recording session, I think it's the perfect place to end off because. Oh yeah. You know, I, I was thinking. Wasn't this episode like? I oh was, right, I right. Yeah, well, because this is, a, this is a, the third of this um, session of recording. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, just how do the Game Grumps do it? Because, like, they they record, like, these massive, like, multi-hour recording sessions. Like, you have to take breaks in between and whatnot, and it's a bit easier because they're actually in person. Yeah. But, but holy shit, like, some games are easier to Some games are easier to yeah. play for hours than others, though. Like, one thing I'll say about this game is that it can be difficult to play for a long period of time because... Yeah. It's such a like a assault on your senses. Um, it, it, I mean, it, it, it's a big part of the personality of this game, but um, it, it is a lot. Like, look at like just visually, look at what we're looking at. It's so yeah. intense. Uh, yeah, like to be completely honest, yes, this is triggering my migraine quite a bit. Like, it was already like I was already like my migraine was already here. Yeah. But, oof. I'm gonna need to take something after this. Too many bright. Colors and moving. No, I've pieces. definitely like I, I've definitely gotten burnt out by looking at this game for a long time before. Um, and I would have thought that that made it hard to replay, but um, maybe well, on think, subsequent run-throughs I get more used to what I'm looking at. But like it's well, so I much. Think, I, well, I I think part of the reason it's so hard to look at is it's so dense with color and aesthetic. Yeah. No, you know? there's just like so like so much packed into it. So when you play when you're doing other replay like when you're doing replays you're you're almost be able you're almost able to find more to appreciate because you're there's more to do you know yeah no it, it's cool there, there's lots of little details in this game that i don't notice until later on um though also like with later playthroughs um i feel like i can focus more on the level design than the aesthetic and i can like find stuff um and be like oh i haven't been and here plus before. you have the other character plus you have the other characters as well you know yeah that shakes things up for sure like they, like I, I think the really smart thing about adding the other new characters to play with with this stuff is it gives you so many different ways to approach and appreciate the level. Yeah, well, that's something that I feel like the the 3D Sonic games could have done more. Where because like, they're these games always have the same problem of like um, how do we make it long enough? And I think giving the levels replay value is a good way to sort of get around that problem because they'll get more time out of it. And just having yeah, a, a slightly different skill set like does a lot. Like I've played this game again with every every single character, and I don't think I would have done that um, if it weren't for like uh, yeah, the fact that those characters exist. Yeah, I would say that's probably one of the interesting like one of the, I'd say one of the interesting problems with something like Heroes is that um, or even like a lot of the three D Sonic games with um, multiple characters is that there. Are, you're, yes, you're going back to the same world, but they're not really the same stages. You know? Like, what do you you're mean? not really, like... Oh, like, so... When you're um, playing something like Sonic Heroes, like, some of the stages are like, okay, yeah, this is just the same stage you're going through. But a lot of the characters just kind of play the same. Oh, yeah. And then, um... No, the way Heroes um, works uh, is that you need to have every skill available at all times to be able to progress, so, like... You know, it just becomes, you're like, not, you're one... You're really playing the same character? Yeah. No, I, I don't think any of those yeah, characters really have like anything unique about how they played as characters. Oh gosh, it's yeah, but it, it's like you're not really playing the same level. It's like you're playing a different level in the same world, like or a different act in the same world, rather than like really experiencing the a different level, of, like the same level in a different way, or approaching it in a different way. Yeah, Heroes does a pretty good job, a pretty bad job at that replay value, and it's especially annoying that you have to play the game four times to get a real ending. Um, mm -hmm. Like it's not like it's not like Sonic Mania has a true ending lock behind, you know, all six playthroughs you can do. Um, and yeah, each character genuinely does something different. Um, and in some of the other Sonic games, like uh, say Sonic Unleashed, like Werewolf Sonic and Regular Sonic are completely different characters. So it's not actually getting more out of the oh, same gosh. amount of content. It's actually. Um, 
splitting how much content you can give to each thing. Like it's just creating more and more completely different assets for two different games. I will say, at least that's one of the nice things about something like, um... Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's a cool mechanic. Like, mother, like um... With um, Sonic Adventure 2, it's like, you don't, like... Rather than having, like, you play through the different the same stage with um, different characters, it's... You kind of have, like, different stages that are sim like kind of like dark and light versions almost of the same sort of idea. Right, right. That, that's true, actually, because, yeah, there's, like... A a Sonic City stage, a Shadow City stage, this version of forests and stuff. Yeah, I didn't really think about it like that. And they, and like, and they're actually like different enough as opposed to um, Heroes, which is just like the same stage but like with different like, well, it's like the same level but different as a different stage. Okay, we're good. don't know? be on the left here. He's about to turn to a big thing. Oh, why? This is. Oh, uh, uh, hmm. Okay. Okay, so you've got to get, like, this... that thing in his chest, I think. Um, so you need to, like... Oh, yeah. Then you got to sort of jog back a little bit, hit that thing, and then go back to running away. Okay, well, at least it took me to here, and I've got three lives. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Alright, you got this, buddy. You got this. So, ooh. Nice, nice. Well, let's have coins going into this. Oh no, I, your I coins! Oh gosh, yeah. I got trapped. It's tricky, you gotta be really careful about getting trapped. Alright, boys and girls, are we gonna end this, this recording session with defeating Metal Sonic? I hope so. God, I really hope I could just like beat kill Eggman right there. That would that would have been nice. That would have cut the entire game off. Yeah. Imagine just like Oh Let me get it. No Oh no, that's as bad as I could have gone. Oh man. Hey but like I I, I give it a crack. Hey man, you're learning, you're learning. Okay, um, hmm. If you can just so get your rings back zero? when you get hurt, you're okay. Um, I forget this might be your final... Treat this as if it were your final go, because I think it might be. Yeah. Okay, well... Hmm. Oh no, you overextended! <laughs> Damn, that's us. Well, it's, it's so... It once you get over there, it's so hard to get like get get back out. Yeah, I I, I will admit that. Uh, see this? Oh wait, you got you have a continue? Oh shit, dude! You have to really switch. Well, I just gotta play this between different modes in this fight. Yeah. So I just really gotta go in and attack, and then get out. There we go. Well, his hands are not there. Yeah, you can get him while his hands are going across, but it is tricky. Oh, damn it. Oh! Okay, I got... Oh my god! Wait, yes! Wait, wait, did, did Tails just... Did Tails just cheese, cheese him? T Tails... Was that entirely Tails? Heroically sacrificed his life to defeat Metal Sonic, and then came back immediately. That has... That has... Uh, I'm... 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 Spe I, um... Uh... <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> this has been bros at the landfill. I lost I my connection. I, I'm speechless. I just, I'm, I, I still don't know what just happened. Hello? Like, <laughs> what? Uh, you know, just, just leave it at that. Oh, we're back. I lost, I lost uh, you, Trivian. Yeah, the, the, the Wi-Fi went out for like a hot second. Oh no. Right at the climax of our adventure. But you know, uh, I think I think that's a sign. Yeah, that, um, Sonic and Tails falling in atrocity. Um, well, it's a good cliffhanger. Sonic and Tails like halfway through drowning to death. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Come back next oh, God, time to watch stadium. Sonic and Tails yeah, drown definitely. and die. Yep, because we have a history of making our characters on like that we play as drown and die on the show. Uh...
you know, there was an entire bit, like, we had, like, from a Super Paper Mario episode that was just completely lost because of lost footage, where it was about Mario drowning. That sounds... <laughs> that sounds hilarious <laughs> and upsetting. Yeah. Mostly the second yep. thing. Yep. All right. Bye. Thanks for joining us.